Hello, and welcome to another episode of Philosophical Bones. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. And uh, today we're on to uh, question 33. It, it, every every single time, like, the number surprises me. Well, how many episodes of Nerdy Bones do you think we've done? In, I mean, it's been over that, a year since we've done, a, like, a, a one of those, but still, there's got to be at least, like, 40 of those. Oh, man. Well, like, 50. The, the, you mean the ones, like, where we did, like, the full-on, like, research? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 50. At least. I'd say 50. All so right. we were doing it every Wednesday for... Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it was a while over six yeah, months. You guys out there, like we appreciate you guys listening. And if you honestly want to do a podcast, you should just remember there's a lot that goes into it, depending on what your content wants to be. Well, it can't or, be as simple yeah. as just recording on your phone. And well, yeah, that's easy enough too. Uh, and well, that's how we started. Oh yeah, yeah. We started off a tablet that we thought we had a microphone hooked to, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like our first, our first like sixty episodes were oh, off. Oh of, man, yeah. Uh, you go back to those; those sound terrible. Yeah, but they were fun. There was mm. there was. We had like ten people in the room. And no yeah. structure to it at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so uh, Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so question thirty three is, are we all living with ghosts? That's an interesting question because you you have to think about what you mean by ghosts. Well, I, what like, I, are, I, well, are you thinking symbolically? Are you thinking like uh, well, psychologically? I'll, I'll start off on the most obvious, which for us would be like our dads. Yeah. You know, in a way, you know, because we're uh, we're like, well, you look at just family, Pat, and the Pat, well. You go a family, or even just people who have who affect our lives, like mm-hmm. from the past. Like, uh, let's go Lincoln. We're living uh, with his ghosts in a way of like, well, what he's done over, or what well, he started. Yeah, that's kind of a heavy statement, right? I now, or I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to describe. You know what I'm going? No, with. You're, no, you're making a great point. Yeah, I mean, well. When I, I say living with, I just wish with I ghosts, was, I just wish I was articulate enough to actually state, like, <laughs> like, because you did make a great point right there, like what you were thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like we're living with the ghosts of, you know, Genghis Khan and, you know, kings past. You know, think of, like somebody famous in so, history. Uh, in you know, the, in that Joan fr- of Arc. You know, in that phrasing, what you mean is like what they influenced and like what's still around. Yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really where I'm going with it. So, like, uh, when you asked that question initially, it's like, okay, so if, are you living with ghosts? Like, um, you could take that a couple different ways. You could be like, oh, okay, is your house haunted? Mm-hmm. Or, <laughs> or seriously, it's <laughs> it. true. Or like, or um, do you like? You could use it like in a more like metaphorical sense. So, like, do you have like skeletons in your closet? Like, um, that's probably more the way I wanted to go. Maybe. Like well, you know, actually, no. Well, that's one good thing about philosophical questions that we do is like they tend to have be multifaceted, yeah, yeah. and have many different ways we can go about it. We just kind of branch off the. Well, that's because question. it's because we're scatterbrains. I mean, well, really, scatterbrain. Well, where do you want to take this one first? Well, I would talk. I would like to go with like uh, let's go with skeletons in our closet. That's the yeah, first. Like, yeah. I, I want to use that as, like as a metaphor. Mm-hmm. And I think all of us have done things in our life that we're not proud of. Mm. Maybe. Maybe you are proud of it, but you're like I, I know a lot of people that have done stuff that they're proud of, but would never say anything to anybody about it. Mm-hmm. But like what I'm getting at is like when you do shit, that is always going to scar you and always going to haunt you. Mm. You know, like um, I have this. Um, this is kind of interesting. Wow, I didn't know this was going to go this way. <laughs> okay, uh, so the very last thing I ever said to my dad, mm. he I was talking to him on the phone because that was the only way I was allowed to actually have any contact with him because. But like, um, his, the very my dad's very last phrase he ever said to me is "Don't die on me." Mm. You know, so, he said that to you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was my the very last thing my dad said to me because like all the just like everything going on like well he's been his passing was before most of this craziness garbage but this stuff was actually still going on right now there was. There Before were, like coronavirus, you're saying. Well, no, that was, that shit was that shit was on the records going on right now. Mm-hmm. People, people just weren't talking about it. Yeah, okay. But I'm not gonna go down that line. Yeah. But yeah, like uh, so, I have my dad's ashes here in my house, and I, I feel like uh, he's actually. This might sound silly, but I feel like he's actually pulled me through a couple difficult things recently. Mm-hmm. And we could, like I li- will literally like walk up and put my hand on on the box that's got his ashes in it and like talk to him. I don't care. Judge me. No. <laughs> But, I mean, I've had times where uh, I did. Well, I talked about when um, I think when we did the Camino de Santiago episode. Because mm-hmm. at one point, I remember I was like, and it, it was maybe like a few. It was maybe like for around four or five years after he died. I think I walked. I can't remember exactly. Um, Check that episode out. Well, actually, no, it was probably three. I think it was three years. Because I think because the anniversary of his ten, the tenth anniversary of his death is uh, when is it? Is it is uh, in September? 
And I walked really? the Camino, I think, six years ago, six or seven years ago. So it was around three or four years um, after he died. That was but like, I was walking one day, and I remember, like, just I had this feeling like he was, like, with me. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's one of the only times that's really happened to me. When you were actually on the trail, you mm-hmm. felt it. You told me that when you did the episode. Mm-hmm. And, like, if guys, if you get, if you follow the show at all, or if you're new to this, go back in our library and check that episode out. Like, I was... I think it's I, one of our I, most downloaded, actually. Yeah, I, I remember just sitting here, because, like, you lent me the movie about... Mm-hmm. The Way. And I, and I watched it once, and then I tried to cram it in one more time before you got here. And, mm-hmm. you, and you're like, oh, you're just watching this now? I'm like, no, this is my second run. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, you know, I sat here, and you just basically told me the story, and I didn't have a lot to say. It was just like... Well, you just ask damn, questions. Damn, dude, damn. Yeah. But, yeah, it was pretty crazy. But, yeah, where were we? Like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I'm like... Uh, we well, thought you were talking about ske- we were talking about going into like skeletons in our closet, I guess. Yeah, that. Well, what I was getting at <laughs> yeah. is like uh, typically going into the show, I would try to get myself a nice like solid like buzz before we get started. But mm. now, but now I'm hosting on weed, which is way more fun. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Um, well, I, I don't care. I, I can share that. <laughs> let me we talk about living with ghosts. Uh, well, why I say that was alcohol. That's mm-hmm. why I got it. What's, uh, mm-hmm. There was this weird, like, stoner brain thing that yeah. I was trying to say right there. <laughs> but, okay, so one of my biggest demons on my back, mm-hmm. or living with the ghost, living with, like, it, w- it was alcohol. Yeah. And, like, I I, I went to the hospital. God, did, have we done an episode since I went to the hospital for the stroke stuff? No. Yeah, I went to the hospital for stroke symptoms. And uh, I, w- I had what was called a complex migraine that is a precursor to a, to a stroke. And oh, I, shit. And I lost my dad to a stroke. And dude, my vision's still fucked up. Mm. Like it's like I've gotten used to it, but I just like have blind spots here and there. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's some scary ass shit, dude. I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> but oh yeah, it's uh, it, it had had it's gotten me to put down the alcohol mm-hmm. because I noticed that it affects my health so much. Like I never knew that I was feeling shitty until I started to feel better. Yeah, dude. Like did anybody out there trying to kick alcohol think about that for a second like you never know how good you're gonna feel until you realize oh, oh my god that's that's how i feel all the time mm-hmm. that's not how i'm supposed to feel that's i know that's a rant that's like off the beaten mm-hmm. path dude but that's something needs to be said but uh, yeah I, I i'm i'm happy to be where i'm at now anyway yeah i mean continue well, it comes i, alcohol, that was a rant, I was I gonna say when it comes to alcohol for me i mean i don't I like I, I, I like to drink <laughs> dude you know um, I do too man I know you're not trying to be like oh you should quit or anything I no like, no dude, I, well yeah. I've had two beers before we did this episode yeah so to me uh well yeah I think I think with me it's a it's a form of release for, well from the level the the here's the thing is the level that I was doing it at mm-hmm. you just can't you can't live your well, life I did like the that. same thing too when I was uh, we were talking yeah. about this earlier like yeah. when I was living in Las Vegas for all those years I was yeah. working a job I really really hated and every single day. As soon as I was off, off work, the very first thing I did was go to the bar. Well, I remember. And I get to go, go to the bar, get drunk, and then go home and, and pass out. And then if I didn't have to work the next day, sometimes I'd be back at the bar within like six hours, six hours, eight hours. Well, dude, or if like, I was up at two in the morning, since it was Vegas, I'd go to the fucking the bar. When you first started working with me, I, I, I was on a blood blood pressure medication because that's my that's what my doctor, my primary care provider, mm-hmm. thought that's what I needed because I was having all this like disorientation and feeling strange and shit like that. And what it is is I was fucking detoxing every day. Oh, shit. Yeah, because I'd fucking drink till I would black out. And then I, I'd, I'd wake up and be like, oh, man, I feel so weird. This isn't normal. And not realizing it's not just a hangover, it's detox mm. because of how much I was slamming down my gullet. I just realized that we're, like, we're actually, without even thinking, really realizing it, like we're talking about our past, and our past is actually kind of our our ghost. <laughs> Well, a go, a ooh, ghost. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Boom. Because um, yeah, we. I mean, message. Our, our, you know, our past does haunt us at times. Definitely. Oh, dude. It, like, I'm I one guess, of the, I'm it's one really of the... about how we go about like dealing with that, though. We either dec- decide to rise above it, or we decide to let it, like let us bring it or up, let it bring us down. Yeah. Well, one of the things like I hate to keep going back on this, but one of the things we'll do uh, on versus one of the day, one of these days, we'll do alcohol versus marijuana. Mm. <laughs> but one, one, no, this, on a serious note right now, yeah. like uh, about two weeks ago, like I was at what you call a rock bottom mm. as far as like, my God, I don't want to feel like this anymore. Because I, I went three days without drinking at all. Mm. And I went through a full fucking full blown detox. Oof. Dude, and I didn't realize I was at that level. I didn't, you mm-hmm. know, like I was 
laying here shaking and sweating and disoriented. And I was like, I don't ever want to feel like this again. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like when I was saying earlier, like I feel better, uh, I like myself better as a stoner than a fucking alcoholic. You know, like, cause as a stoner, yeah. like as a stoner, I'm sitting here and I'm laughing and I'm going to remember this episode when it's done. Mm-hmm. And I can't even tell you how many episodes we've done that I just don't remember how it ended. And, I mean, I, that's pretty much every one of them for me. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> memory's just shitty. Well, 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 no, here's the thing is like, I don't remember signing off. I don't remember mm-hmm. telling, telling you have a good night mm-hmm. and like, and I feel better. I feel like more aware that I can respond to questions quicker and like, yeah. I feel sharper and I'm going to, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know how I got on this, but. Well, I mean, I've, I've done plenty of episodes with you when you've been drunk. Dude. And you can tell. I know. Because <laughs> you're like just, slowing hey, down yeah. and uh, kind of hey. slurring a little bit. Wait, and I'm just like. Would you have Nick? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can always tell. Oh, I know. It's weird with me, and though. And here's the thing. And here's yeah. a, here's a, here's the ghost is I don't like that. Mm. Like, I, I think about so, like so many times in the past where I've done some stupid ass shit. Yeah. And like, I'll, and I feel so bad about it. And like, uh, there was one time, well, Jackie, she's been on the show, my ex-girlfriend, listeners know her, and she's, she's, well, in all, she's a good person. Mm -hmm. Um, Christmas Eve, our first Christmas Eve together, we got stuck on the freeway, there was this big ass accident, and we literally spent Christmas Eve on the highway, Mm -hmm. and I was all stressed out, and I was glad to have her with me, you know, I was like, I'm glad to do this, but my dog was in the backseat, and the thing is, somebody died, Mm -hmm. and the, the street was all, I've told the story on the show before. But uh, the whole street was blocked off. We spent like 13 hours on the highway. Finally made it to Sarah Vista where she lives. Went to midnight mass with her, which I was like, like okay. It was like, can we, can we like skip this because I'm so tired? Yeah. And she's like, no, that just means we have to go at like five in the morning. I'm like, fuck, let's just stay up and go. But uh, we were going to have dinner with her friends the next day. Mm-hmm. And I was so stressed out, man. I was just like, I was just like, okay, because, you know, we were talking about living together and all this shit, and I was just stressed out. And I was gonna meet her friends, and she had this huge bottle of Everclear Ew. on her on her dresser, mm-hmm. or not her not her dresser. I'm sorry, up by her sink by the kitchen window, and everybody was getting ready, and I had myself a sprite, and I looked up there and I was like, <laughs> and I I poured some in my in my soda. I was like, oh, who's this gonna hurt? Who's this gonna hurt? And they're like, we're all getting ready. I'm like drinking my soda, like tasting the Everclear, and uh, her and I are in the car. And uh, we're getting ready to leave for her friend's house. And she's like, oh, man, I'm thirsty. Can I have a drink of that? I'm like, no. And she's like, why? I'm like, no. And like, I proceeded to fucking like, just drink it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this, this happened. Yeah. I, pr- I proceeded to just like drink it really quick. And then she looked at me and she's like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. It's, it, oh, it's stale. And I just tried to, every lie I could think of to just drink it as fast as I could. And then I handed it to her out of shame. And she's like, you put Everclear in this. And I was like, Yeah. And the, what it all boiled down to uh-huh. is if I would have just said, hey, I'm going to pour some Everclear in here, she'd have been like, cool. She wouldn't have given a shit. She felt you had to hide it. Yeah. And, you know, and then that. Because bu- you didn't want to be shamed. Yeah. It, I just didn't want to be, because I have a drinking problem mm-hmm. and I didn't, I hadn't been drinking during that period. And I was like, fuck, this whole situation has been stressful as fuck. I just, yeah. I'm going to go meet some people <clears throat> I've never met before and hang out with a bunch of kids. Yeah. I kept, you know, and I, I poured like a good, like two and a half shots in this can of, can of Sprite. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, it, it, and like, <laughs> I'll never feel more shitty than I ever did. And I was like looking straight in her face and just lying to her. I was like, nope, yeah. nope, 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 nope. And, you know, I'll admit that I did that and mm-hmm. I don't feel good about it. And, you know, that's a ghost I'll always live with. Yeah. Man. Yeah, dude, it was not good, man. Like, that's like, you know, I was talking about rock bottom earlier yeah. and stuff like that. It's one, one, one ghost that just came up for me <laughs> is, uh, is that job I had. Like uh, working for Coke, stocking oh, shelves as a merchandiser. Yeah. That yeah. still haunts me sometimes. And yeah. actually, haunts is a good word to use. And I, feel, I really do feel like I got some kind of PTSD from that fucking job. <laughs> Every once in a while, I have w, a dream. W, it's WPTSD. <laughs> what do you mean? Work PTSD. Oh, yeah, it's work PTSD. Yeah, work PTSD. That was simple, Nick. I don't, I don't like to discount, you know, real, sh- real fucking PTSD because I've been around people who have it. No. Well, I, yeah, and I know what it, what, what that kind of thing can do to people. Well, then PTSD can come from so many different directions. Yeah. So can... I'm, I'm, and I'm talking about a very light, light case of it. I'm not talking about anything I, well, um, I had a girlfriend. Her but we, name, but we, get, we you... get that just from, like, actually from relationships. Well, you remember the girl Lauren that I dated for a while? Yeah. Yeah, like, like her. She, she was really cool. She had PTSD from getting raped. Yeah. And, like, you know, like, and there's no way that I'll ever understand that. Mm. And, you know, and that was a ghost that she had to carry. 
and it ended up being a problem in our relationship, you know, because it's mm -hmm. when we be intimate, there there would be some things that would be okay one night and some things that wouldn't be okay the next night. Mm -hmm. And it's just really hard for me to kind of like track what was okay. This is okay. This is what's okay to do. This is not mm -hmm. what's okay to do. They walk the eggshells. Yeah, and she was good. I, mean, I can't say she was a bad person. Yeah, she was a nice person. Yeah. I really liked her. Megan liked her a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so where are we at? Um, fuck. What's a, okay? So, I mean, where are we going with this one next? With ghosts? I mean, living. Oh, with, do you, do, oh, I have living one. With ghosts. Just, just going on the literal sense. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like phobias, or have you ever experienced anything, or like is it oh, like a ghost? Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, I know you've got the Mexican she's, old, she's, the old dude, lady I'm Mexican surprised we haven't, ghost. I'm, I'm I'm surprised we haven't hit that right now. Like the studio is completely haunted. You say so. I've never experienced it's it because you're not here at night. Oh, at fucking yeah. two in the morning. You're like, I've been here late, not that late. Well, why do you think recently? Like I've been trying to keep the house clean because shit <laughs> happened. Like the house is clean right now, cleanish, cleanish right now. And like when the house is dirty, just like the door, the door. I don't slam. think this place will ever really be clean, dude. What, this, <laughs> Unless this, you like paint it and fucking. Well, I'd, have fix to go, everything. I'd have to go hire some merry maids or something like that. <sighs> That's always one thing I think about whenever I go to move out of my place. Is I think I'm just gonna like, either get like yeah, hire like a maid. I'll be like, all right, how much to do the entire place? And if they say like three hundred dollars, I'll be like, okay. Then they're gonna be all, we need lemon pledge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Little Family Guy reference. Yeah. Nice. Um, or I'll just, or I'll just give my land, or I'll just tell my landlord, like, hey, how much do you think it is to have, hire a maid to come in and, and clean the place? Yeah, like, my, oh, it'll be this much. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give you that much money, yeah. and just when I, when I leave, like here, because I'm not gonna clean that place. Well, you know, one of my, I just, I, I just, I don't have that in me. Well, like one of my exes used to tell me, like, well, it's not 100 percent clean. I'd rather like, pay. What is 100 percent clean? I'd rather pay someone to come in and clean the place than do it myself. Well, I can maintain the thing. Is I mean, yeah, me, I, I maintain. I, I mean, I, not to, I'm not saying I live in a fucking pigsty. You've actually never been to my place, by the mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. And uh, but so my place is not like super dirty or anything. The bathroom, I will say, is not the best because uh, I, I have a thing about like cleaning like the shower. Like I just never do it. Um, but the rest of my house honestly is not bad. Mm. Um, Where's I going with this whole thing? <laughs> I think I was just offended. I think, myself. You got, I, think, I think you got contact eyes. What's going on? Nah, I haven't blown it at you. Nah, no, I haven't. No, <laughs> no well, it's I was I'm drinking a little bit too. <laughs> uh, Where were we? What yeah. are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? Well, living with ghosts. Living with. I ghosts. mean, wait, well, let's go to the society wise. Let's go to the, the society aspect of things. Okay. I mean, do you want to get like what's going on now? At this moment, see, that, see that's that's fucking loaded, man. Uh, got, that's got, the only thing; it's it's pretty loaded. We got to be careful. That's fucking loaded. Well, do you want to or not? Because we don't have to go uh, that I, way. I think we shouldn't uh, avoid that. Just okay. For, we don't need any okay. negativity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't actually, you know, what? I want to bring this up because I think you put up on a. I didn't. I didn't look, uh, but I I saw you on your Facebook page. You put up something about like, can you can you. Find something positive or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, dude, I got like fifty fucking comments and what? pictures. Yeah, and what was going on with that? Pe people posting stuff with like uh, their new like pet kitten, like just. Um, oh, so it was all good stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I thought yeah. it was like it got into like people like like what are you doing like you know you know what's no, going on right now. Okay, it was, it was just like it was pictures of my friends at a birthday party, mm -hmm. and, like pictures of new people getting new pets and like like little memes of like cartoon characters being yeah. all happy and. Just because everything had been so negative, I needed it. Mm. I was like, let's 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 look at something happy here for a second. Let's, you know, like, um, did you ever watch the movie Demolition Man? Of course. That's the hundred percent what's going on right now. Oh shit! Look at look at everything like the the wiping their asses with fucking the three seashells. Three, three, three cells. <laughs> not, well, still, no one knows how that works. Not not touching. I don't think it's ever really been explained. Not having sex because of a virus. Uh -huh. uh, riots because Did, no, I saw something actually like, uh, or I heard in the UK. I think it might be illegal to have sex with someone you're not living with. That's that I, that could lead to problems. Yeah, like, well, yeah. How many people are breaking that? Come on, do, do, do people get lonely? <laughs> Fucking, I'm lonely every weekend. Twelve years, is, twelve years of that loss. See what happens, man. <laughs> no, that's not happening. You it's just because that. of the times we're in, like quarantine or a. Uh, um, Curfew is supposed to end tonight. Oh yeah, but like, who knows? Like, just like they did with quarantine. Like, oh, oh three more weeks. Yeah, you know. And then the, here's the big thing: is uh, 
we, me and my buddy Olivia Chad have been following like the, you know, not to be paranoid or whatever, mm -hmm. but we just like the following the cases. Do they're at a rise right now of every single day, 125 percent. And then not to mention like when the people go home from all the riots and go to the stores, like we're we're literally. Well, you're saying riots now. Okay, protests, protests. protests. So people are doing all the protests and like going to stores and then going home and then, like we're looking at a rise of some stuff I was looking online. It's like right now it's 125. They're saying it could be like 150 a day mm -hmm. each fucking day. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, and then when everybody from all these protests go home and then their numbers come in, mm -hmm. that's just going to lead to another fucking quarantine. And yeah, well, let's not talk about that. Let's move on. Where were we? At? Where were we at? Where were we at? I don't want to talk about fucking. That. Well, go like uh, it's going well, like kind of more like the ghosts of the past we're living with. I don't know. Forgive me for ranting on that for a second, guys. That's, all That's good. not what we were talking yeah, about. We rant and, <laughs> and all that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I you know I remember I wrote down a second kind of a second part to this question it was kind of kind of a slash. Okay. And it was like, how did the dead affect the living? Man. I think it's because it's pretty much the same thing. It's like because the question is, are we all living with ghosts? Slash, how how did the dead affect the living? For me, it'd be just their influence on me while they were here. Uh -huh. Just like the, like my dad is actually a huge part of my personality. Like any anybody that has really had a big like interaction with my dad, we just basically have the same personality. That's where I got it from. Yeah, I say the same thing about me and my dad. Actually, yeah. uh, me and him were were were. were I think we were we we were pretty similar in a, in a lot of ways. I wish I, um, we were both actually like a lot more chill people. That's funny you say that because I wish I could have got my dad's ferocity, <laughs> like because my dad was in a motorcycle gang and was an yeah. enforcer. My dad did not. My dad would throw down <laughs> for me, and somebody wants to start a fight with me. I'm like trying to talk my way out of it. I get punched in the face. I'm like, yeah. why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I, I, well, even just think about this right now. My dad was a really uh, he was pretty creative. I think I didn't really notice until he started painting. Oh, yeah. Um, but he studied photography and stuff, too. But I never really noticed any, his creative side a lot when I think about it. That Leonard and Skinner placard in the kitchen yeah. my dad made. Well, I still have, I told you I still have, like, a little end table my dad made for, like, oh, John Belushi. Yeah, we did talk about yeah. that. We did talk about that. And I've got a piece of his artwork hanging in my house. That's cool. Yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's funny I always end up talking about our dads. Yeah. That's because they're a big influence on us. You know, I will go one one ghost. Well, you can say, so one thing I'd go with this is like living with ghosts is like it doesn't even have to be someone who's dead necessarily. Like the ghost of like your relationship with somebody. Ooh, you talk yeah. about like say like, yeah, with the next. Like, and one thing that just came to mind is like my mom. Like I do not have a relationship with my mom at all. And that's because that's a, that's a, that's a choice. That's a choice on my part. I don't like her. I don't get along with her. <laughs> I just, I don't care. She has absolutely nothing in my life except for like frustration. She, I actually, she sent me a text for my birthday. I did end up saving it. Or, like I didn't delete it right away. I, didn't, I never respond to any. She, she'll send me a text like maybe like twice a year. And, and what was it from? Um, I, I, the only reason I keep my number is in, in case of a major, major emergency. But she's like, uh, she sent me a picture of my niece who she babysits a lot. And she's like, happy. And she, so she sent me that picture and then she put happy birthday, uncle Nick slash Nicholas. We <laughs> hope you have a great birthday today. You made us a family. The love, the a little love emoji hugs and love to you on your special day. We love you, Penelope and mom. And I'm just like, and for me, that could be totally innocent for her, but I kind of look at that and I'm just like, you're literally right now using your own granddaughter to try to get in my good graces. And like to, you're using her to, to get into my life. I'm like, that's the way I look at that. Even though she would never, ever think that I'm sure, but that's how I take it. Cause he goes all the shit I've dealt with, with her. So I'm always living with the ghost of the, my past with her. Yeah. Um, and actually, that's a good way to go with relationships, you know, in the past. Like, because I still think about relationships. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you do too. Dude, I think every, everybody does. Of, of relate, previous relationships have about how like how things were good and how things were bad. I hate to say it, and like what you learned from them and how you, how you were as a person then. I hate to say it like this, but every relationship has kind of left a, a metaphorical scar. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little different each time. Like yeah. it heals different a little each mm -hmm. time. Has a different shape and. So, like, that's one thing, like, because I am almost 40 years old and never had a healthy relationship. 
Dude, I've never had a relationship last more than like four months. Me, I'm just over, <laughs> me, I'm just over a year or so. Yeah. But, you know, the thing is, is in those short relationships, they've gotten super intense. Like yeah. The short relationships I've had have gotten super intense. I, I've gotten lucky with pretty much all, most of them, or a lot of them I've had because I've like come out in the end and still been cool with that person or like... <laughs> But I mean, that's I, I mean, I, yeah, I've got the few that I'm like, I, just, I just never speak a, to them again. I just had a stoner laugh because you said come out in the end. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> keep let him talk. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a different show because I'm not so fucking drunk. I'm Ooh. fucking high. But anyway, where are we going? I mean, what else would we want to cover right now? <laughs> so ask the question one last time. See okay. the dogs. So let's see. Uh, see, are we all living with ghosts? Slash, how to the dead affect the living say i would say we all live with ghosts of so some type of what our brain creates mm. or something that kind of well you just look at the laws we live by in the country yeah. we live it, it was made by people who fucking are been dead for a couple <laughs> centuries <laughs> you know all right and then the rest of the world you know it's all built upon you know the past yeah in the past you can call a ghost well you know? like uh no i'm not gonna rant more on there, there's been like no, no. Well, we'll talk about this. Go ahead, go ahead. What are we saying? Well, no, that's that's we'll kind of the point that. I we're, make. We'll, no, we're, we're going to talk about something I was going to say after the show because I said I wasn't going to talk about that topic anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the question, of course, is yeah, are we all living with ghosts? And the answer would be I would yes. say hell the fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, we are. And it's how you deal with it which makes the difference. You know, that's a good point. It's how I mean, you, you know, deal with how, it. That's how you you either you know learn from it and continue on, or you. uh Become trapped in it, and you actually say a lot with like a lot of television shows. Like a lot, a big theme is uh, something from people, somebody's past haunting them. Well, yeah, dude, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point, and well, a lot of comic book stories and stuff like that too. Oh, just look at Bat- Batman, Batman. <laughs> right away, you beat me to it. I was Batman, like, I was, I was like, Superman. I was literally looking at. They all you have when tragic. You said it. I was like, yeah, comic yeah. heroes. They always have a tragic backstory. Well, think, think about. Can you think of a? There, I'm sure there's some outliers, but can you think of? Out of all the classics, all the classics, all the ones that have set the ground base for making superheroes popular, mm-hmm. has any one of them not had a tragic background? Anyone that's you know, it's weird. The, the, the one that good. first came to mind was Shazam. To his oh, he's a he's an orphan though, isn't he? Yes. Oh, <laughs> here goes that. Yes. Wonder Woman. She got kicked out of uh, the mascara. Yeah, got kicked out. Yeah. Green well, Lan- I wouldn't say that's Green tragic. Lantern. No, no, he's doesn't have tragic. 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 <laughs> Yeah, no, he's not, I guess he's not tragic. No, he doesn't really have a tragic. Green Lantern. I mean, there are a few that, I mean, they, they've obviously had their, Green th- Lantern. their shitty past. But. Green Lantern. I got to give it to that one, man. I can't think of, like, any, like, traumatic, traumatic like, whatsoever, that, other than, like, maybe Hal Jordan, like, crashing and almost dying when he, before he got the ring. Yeah, of course. So. <laughs> yeah, but Batman, definitely the biggest one who lives with, with a ghost. Him and Peter, him, him and Peter Parker. Oh, Peter Parker, yeah, with Uncle yeah, Ben, yeah. yeah. Peter Parker, yeah. Well, and then you got you also got to throw Clark Kent in there too. I'm just being nerdy. Well, Krypton. I'm just, I'm just being nerdy using their names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are the name of our channel is Nerdy Bones. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> so I, th- I would say those are like. Mm, I kind of would like to throw Logan in there, but it's kind of different in his case because he's been around for so long. He's yeah. been he's been through so many tragedies and forgotten so many of them. Yeah, that's true. You know, like, it's, you know, I actually watched a video today, like, because of the way he regenerates, the more they, the longer time, this is actually from a writer that did, uh, forget the series, but the more Logan is in action, the more his, the more his muscles are breaking themselves, themselves down and repairing. Mm-hmm. So the longer he's in action, the stronger he gets. Hmm. Yeah. Cause he, he literally gets larger in stature the longer he fights. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I literally stone lost my train of thought. Wow, we've just been able to go on so many fucking directions with this question. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only thing we didn't hit was when we didn't get, we didn't get political. Well, we kind of just because we don't do that. We don't usually like to. Well, I don't typically have an opinion. That's on why it. I asked you today. I was like, "Do you want to? Do you want?" To? I was like, because nah. we get pretty, pretty crazy. We can get opinionated, but I don't have enough political. Not to mention, I, don't, I like our stuff to. Uh, not be topical to that day. I like it to be, uh, yeah. kind of be like somebody can listen to this six months from now and and not feel like it's dated. Yeah. 
It's like when you listen to a song that has a 90s reference to a TV show. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. Like, I think I was watching Community recently, and they had, like, a 90s reference. I was just like, I know the reference, but I'm betting anybody else watching this, like, 90% of the people are not going to know what the fuck he's talking about. On the same note of what you were talking about, and on a completely, completely different vein, mm. I've been uh, re-binge watching Scrubs. Ah. Remember Scrubs? Mm-hmm. They, uh, the, there's one character in it that is a lawyer that actually has an acapella band, and they did the underdog theme song, and I cannot get it out of my head. I don't even know that When criminals song. in this world appear in Brighton. Oh, damn it. See, I'm, I'm on the start. spot. What's that? Don't even start. Oh, so I good. don't want to. So good. Anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah. We're... <laughs> so, yeah we... uh, sorry, guys. Uh, that always been fun, though. <laughs> always. As the plane goes over. Thank you to everybody who has uh, made their way through this entire episode. <laughs> Went off at a lot of the different different little parts. Dude, and yeah. It's not as not necessarily as focused as it usually is, but it's because I'm not drunk. <laughs> That's surprisingly a difference. Yeah. Um <laughs> it, uh, you agreed. Yeah. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed listening. This has been fun. <laughs> for us. <laughs> for us. We do it for us, you know how it goes. But anyway, this has been uh, question thirty three. Are we all living with ghosts? And uh our answer is of course yes. <laughs> And uh, in the end, I just want to say, keep thinking. <laughs>